Oh, we're going back in, man. Competition is no joke on here, man. I want to try them out. Oh, let's go. I got to go to bed. Uh, we got to deal with a LBJ. Gotta deal with LeBron, man, damn, y'all. All right, let's go. I'll be going against Black Voorhees, man. Man, say so he Jason Voorhees is out there. Can we stop LeBron? He probably gonna put LeBron at point. All right, you ready? Let's go. been waiting for this day for a long time it's oh, a opening game, day in the NBA game. thanks for joining us as we start the new Jay, season NBA hi everyone I'm Brian man. Anderson along with Grant Hill and it's Brent war. Berry our distinguished it's analyst war. Allie LaForce on the sidelines go. we've got the Milwaukee Bucks taking on the oh, Los Angeles the Lakers oh, the so the Bucks down. win the tip back to Allen Pass to Lopez. And he makes it on the layup. We've got new rosters, fresh starts, and a lot of hope, which means. Oh, you got LeBron, man. You got LeBron at point. It's a mismatch already. It's time to tip off the NBA season, Brent. Thankfully, we got through the offseason storylines, the preseason, and all the predictions out there. It's not about that stuff. It's about the play. So let's get it started. Not the first and certainly not the last time we'll see this. LeBron finding airspace. Here's Lopez. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. And setting the tempo uh, with an assertive move, like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Bam! Oh, he got another one. He got another one. finished off by Davis. He got another one. Finding his teammate, great awareness by Wood. Holiday with the ball. Guarded now by Wood. Back to Holiday. Some solid defense Aww. from James. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you ah. want to see on every possession throughout the game. Outside for Davis. No good with the triple. And here's Ana de Kumpo. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. Yes, yeah, surprised yeah. to split the season series last year. Shit up, he cranking shit up. These guys have confidence in themselves against anyone they face. And they don't want a repeat of what happened last year here. They know this is an opponent they can handle, and they don't want to give away anything like they did last year. 
You know, when you look at Chris Middleton, Brent, he's been a competitor every way you slice him. No doubt worked himself into a multiple-time All-Star in the Eastern Conference and one of the most consistent out. small forwards in the league. Also an NBA champ. I just hope his health can hold out, B.A. The first one falls. Well, Brent, when you talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo, still one of the league's elite players. The unbelievable B.A., the way he started off his career. You felt like there was an end to his improvement. That hasn't been the case. Just a strong work ethic, his desire to compete every day that he's in the gym, and the guy keeps getting better. That's scary. Pass to Wood. Now James. And the foul on Anthony Davis. Let's go. That's, That's foul two number on two him. for him. That's two. Tough That's call for his out. coach. Second That's foul already. Out. We'll see how much the staff That's trusts him. On to Kumpo inside. Nails the baby hook. Inside, Giannis knows he's got all the tools, height, touch, LeBron, power. LeBron. It's all there. Pass to James. It doesn't go for him. Great D that time for Middleton. And so they choose to intentionally oh. foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Outside Holiday. Honor to Kumpo, outside. Well, he put him back in the game. Davis with a rebound. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Fires the three. They get the rebound. Out to Achimura. He got, he got, he got, he got, he got. The Lakers got with another miss. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh. Rebound by the Lakers. Back, 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 back. On the wing, Davis. A minute 31 left in the first quarter. To the wing, right side. An open look for Wood. Goes back up. Ah. And he drops that Good one shot. in. Well, AD doesn't always seek out shots. He's not a ball hog, so he's ready to score or make a pass. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, VA. Got it. Yeah, contact has really never bothered LeBron. In fact, the defender usually gets the worst end of it. Left side, Holiday. On to Kumpo, right side. Stolen by Davis. Right, 35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. So good at reading uh. the defenses and James anticipating when they overcommitted. Back to Ana de Kumpo. Over Wood. Ana de Kumpo. Bam. Ana de Kumpo's got six points. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Pass to Wood. Here's Hachimura. Middleton covering. Hachimura in the post. And there's the call on Rui Hachimura. That's foul number two for him. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Tie game in Los Angeles. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Tough, man. Tough. Tough. <sighs> Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. You know, he cheated on a tip and ball. From what we've so seen from the, the Lakers, first. what's your take so far? Was simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. 
Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. The reverse slam, that was sweet. Ah, the finesse on full display. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Rebound Damn, by the Lakers. Oh. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Good shot. Good shot. Here from our reporter, Ali LaForce. For the Lakers to be successful, Coach Darvin Ham said, quote, Anthony Davis is the key. None of this works if he's not available and hitting on all cylinders. We've all seen what can happen when he's healthy and playing at a high level. It's just a matter of managing his body. Brian? That's a good point. That's true for everybody, too. Thanks, Allie. James, outside. Off the mark there with a three. The Bucks trail. Pass to Bochamp. LeBron with the rebound. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. And let's talk about Kobe Bryant for a moment, Brent. You have a favorite Kobe story? Well, B.A., I miss him and certainly love to compete against Kobe. We played the same position and enjoyed the battles with him. But I do remember one game in particular, and it happened to be a game that I wasn't playing and I was hurt. And we were in Los Angeles. It was in 2003. And it was the game where Kobe knocked down just a few three-pointers. And when I say a few, I mean like 12. And he ended up with 45 points in that game. And I remember the game really wasn't close, but Phil kept him in the game just because of what it is we were witnessing and the type of threes that Kobe was knocking on? down in that game. And at the time, he had set the record with 12 made threes. I, I just remember the smile on his face, the command of the game, and him realizing, as so many times he had done before, uh, that he was owning the moment. Fuck. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. They've been really going at the defense in the painted area, and so far the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And it's clear that Cam the Reddish has that? talent. Oh, but it's come been a bumpy on. road for him thus far. And Reddish has been in and out of rotations on the stops he's been. A lottery pick back in 2019. He's hungry to prove that he can be a key contributor to the team he's on. Now, here is James. Five-point lead, biggest of the game. Punching it inside, LeBron. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. It's stolen by James. To the middle. And stolen by Holiday. Oh, my God. Here's Allen. And it's blocked by Davis. What an impactful defensive presence. AD is outstanding at coming up with blocks. And it's slammed in by Achimura. They're locked in and focused on making each possession a success. That is exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots. The knocked them down. And game is fully in their control. Both teams deciding to change it up. We'll try to get back in here. And LeBron not even out here. Here are the Lakers. Okay. Right now on a 9-0 run. Here's Vincent. And he buries his first look. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador hmm. defense. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. In transition, here come the Bucks. Here's Portis. What the fuck this is, is the layup? baby hook. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. 
Hachimura up top. Back to Vincent. Forty-six seconds left in the second period. Six to shoot. Here's Davis. And Davis slams it home. Uh, AD gets near the rim and it's lights out. And so Middleton will bring it up for the Bucks. Nothing on offense from them yet in the second quarter. And the shot's good. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Here's Davis. Oh, misses the dunk. Right back. Well, you right can back. tell right, right there back. he just wanted to go for the jam, right but back. the defense too good and distracting. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Here's Allen. No pass. Pass to Lopez. Yeah, you know Middleton outside. Launches it. The offensive rebound. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Oh, you know what we got to do? Buddy ball. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the Look second. At the Look at the graphics. Yeah, he cheated with the fucking inbound. Damn. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Stolen by Middleton. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. Kupo can't connect. The damn ball, dude. Now Los Angeles with it. Pass to Reeves. The three is up. That falls. Nice damn. feed that time from James. Yeah, yeah. Not Reeves has got five now. Well, let's talk about LeBron James not just being one of the best passing forwards of all time, one of the best passers of all time. Truly understands where everything is at all times. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, Brian. Well, everybody knows that Giannis Antetokounmpo is not just one of the best bigs in the league, but one of the best teammates all the way around. People say about him, he does okay, everything. His doing? teammates say he deals with guys, takes good care of them, makes sure they're healthy from top to bottom. He's the ultimate leader. But special talent, Allie, and a special person. Thanks for that. Down low. And stolen by Holiday. On the wing, Holiday. Middleton outside. Another miss by Middleton. And a chance to add to the lead here. Yeah, B.A., they should really stick with what they've been doing. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Pass to Holiday. Back to Middleton. Now Lopez. Come on, man. Rebound collected oh by God. Anthony Davis. Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. And finished nice, off nice, by nice, Davis. Nice, 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 nice. They've been very nice. well-rounded and extremely focused. Ooh. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Oh, shit. And here's Holiday. Crosses over. The shot that time oh, not on target. Some solid D from Wood. Here's James. To the inside. Back to Wood. Shot clock at two. Here's Reeves. And the Lakers hit again from deep. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Pass to Lopez. Stolen by Davis. In transition. Here's James. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. That's, yeah, that's we got tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. 
shoot. Uh, so it's Milwaukee now. Shoot. Here's Holiday. Oh, and just wow. miss after miss right wow. now. Man, you watch Drew Holiday, Brent. This guy is so tough, physically and mentally. And B.A., there's a lot of guys in the league that we say are underrated, but the secret nice, is out on nice, Drew Holiday, nice, especially nice, after nice, the way nice. he played in the NBA nice. Finals. This guy is the best defensive perimeter player on the floor, unselfish, and what a great backcourt partner. Lopez, he ain't going to on me. We've got a minute 48 left in the third. Here's on a cool Oh, my that one's God. wide left. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Here's Vincent. It's a 22 point lead, the most they've led by. Pass to Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Tries to break his ice. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Christian Wood picks one up. Of course, one of the league's best scorers. Giannis poised to be one of the game's all-time best. First free throw is good. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From Wes to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing. But they seem to be getting more oh. intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Beasley for three. Rebound, uh. the Lakers. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Nice. And nice, that nice, one's nice, good. Nice, nice. Davis. Nice. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Right wing. Here's Bochamp. Ah. Had a miss there on the triple. And here's Davis. Hey, He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And following this one, they'll take on the Nuggets in Denver. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Here's Vincent. Oh, got it off in time, but it's good no domination. good. And so it's Los Angeles. Up 25 big ones as we head into the next period. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Beat like we stole something, man. Mm. Can't shoot for shit, man. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. I think this should all work. I think it's all work. Come on, bro. Guys, get down there. They got that one more shot. Honor to Kumpo with it. The shot no good. Oh. Excellent D there from Davis. And finished nice, off nice, by nice, Davis. Nice. Is Davis competing in the All Star Slam Dunk Contest? I give him a 48. Here's Beasley. Stop up. Beasley. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Now here's Davis. He wow, takes yeah. it in. Boom! And finished off by Davis. Oh, I gotta well, you combine AD's time, huh? length and his skill, and time. when he's on like this, he's unstoppable. Ah, on to Kumpo. Rejected by James. Grant, you look at the league's basketball-related income. The players and owners split it about 50-50. You know, B.A., that's why they call it a partnership. You talk about a shared interest. The NBA has really become a leader by example in all of professional sports. Three-pointer, no good. Here's Anadokounmpo. Basket counts. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. Huh? Over to the wing. 
Back to Vincent. They double him with Crowder. And stolen by Beasley. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Beyond the arc. Davis ah. with a rebound. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. And the layup falls. Wow. Davis has got six good, here good, in the good, corner. Good, 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 good. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Crowder with it. Picked up by Reddish. Portis for three. Rebound, Anthony Davis. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Crowder with a steal. Here we go, one on one. And he gets the layup? bucket. And you can't forget about Jay out there in transition and getting to the right spot on the floor. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Domination, baby, domination. And I heard Giannis Antetokounmpo say he would have loved to go to your alma mater, Grant, because of all boy, the tall man. and skilled players that have come out of Duke. You know, B.A., I'm not sure he mentioned me on that list, but certainly nice to hear that from Giannis. Well, Brent, when you think of the Bucks, it's hard not to remember their huge playoff disappointment in 2023. Man, pretty crushing, right, B.A.? You got the number one seed. You're a team poised to get back to the finals with a chance to win the championship and get knocked out in the first round. A terrific regular season they had, and no one expected them to go out so quickly. Left side, Holiday. Lopez in the post. Missed okay. inside. Aww. And they've been careless with the ball tonight. Yeah, it's a lack of focus and a lack of discipline. They're better than this. Pass to Reeves. It's stolen by Holiday. Here's Middleton. Back to Lopez. Achimura with the defensive effort. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Lakers. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. Giannis, why you a way over monster there? night oh, for man. Anthony Davis. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. He put some rage into that one, B.A. You're telling me. Pass to Davis. Milwaukee with the rebound. Middleton outside. Ah. Back to Lopez. On to Kumpo outside. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Great to see Atenta Kubo going strong inside. At times, the D has no choice but to foul him. That one's no good. Ah. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Russell. Rebounded by Lopez. Middleton looking around. Here's Ana de Kumpo. What the fuck was that? Oh, oh. He goes up again. And he sinks the layup. Yeah, not sure. I would think the first guy you want to box out would be Giannis. Here's Vincent. Let's it go from deep. Good guy, good guy, good guy. No good. good guy. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing right, one this more, one. one, more, one more. We saw two one different one teams right tonight. Now. One played with confidence, operating right. flawlessly. The other just looked lost. <laughs> and the one. energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together.
And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. I'll be going back in, man. Same team. I can't shoot with them guys, though. Madden Guru. Alright. Madden Guru 9898. <laughs> Will it be more of the same like the last game, y'all? Let's see. And he's on PS5. Madden Guru. Crossplay, baby. Look at that um embroidered fabric in the background with the team on it, man. That's tight. Yeah, I'm quite sure he's putting LeBron at point guard. And Drew ain't no match for no damn LeBron, man. But to figure it out. Welcome everybody. Gotta figure it out. Alright, all right. To the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks taking out uh -oh. the Los Angeles Lakers. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer, Clark, LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg, I tell you. Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be surpassed. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, oh. in taking care of his body. And this guy is still going strong. That makes him the king. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, Lord. These guys not finishing at the rim, man. They shooting layups, man. Missing them bitches. Inside, Russell. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron doing what he does best, creating four and elevating others. Here's Giannis. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that wow. combination of power wow. and polish. Here's Holiday. After the basket by the Lakers. Here's Allen. Oh. Good Vanderbilt with the block. Pass to Davis. To the left side wing. Russell left side. The rebound by the Bucks. This, the of course, their first oh opportunity God. to play. Come on, Giannis, what the hell you doing? And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor, but they were only able to split the series last year. And you look at how they match up. Certainly, you wow. could see them losing, yeah, Giannis. but you would still expect them to come away with two wins. Oh. Here's Holiday following the basket by LeBron James, and it's in there. And, Greg, when we tip off a new season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. 
Now here's Middleton. Back to Anadokounmpo. Oh, for Vanderbilt. That one a little yeah, long. The, um, the shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's LeBron. Six points for him. Good on the shot. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Here's Holiday driving to the basket. That one goes. Count it. Boy, he's like an eel slipping into the paint. Drew Holiday glides past the other guys and gets himself right to the bucket. Come on, come on, come on. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now here is Holiday. In deep. Out to the Kumba. Yeah, no good. Too. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Prior to the 2021 season, Clark, the Bucks acquired Drew Holiday in a blockbuster move. And what a move it was. The Bucks went three, all three, 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 in. Three. And that Holiday trade paid off immediately with the Bucks winning the 21 NBA championship. Their first in 50 years. Now, here's Ani Dekumbo. Nice ball on, movement by Milwaukee. And the double up Ani Dekumbo. This is the baby hook. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. In the corner, Middleton with it. Back to Holiday. Pass oh, to Ani Dekumbo. And Davis so pulls it down. Yeah, damn. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. To the inside. And it's slammed in by Davis. One of the dominant dunkers in the league. Davis can put on the show in there. Twenty-seven seconds left in the first quarter. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. And it's Middleton penetrating. That one goes in. That's just what we call man-up strength from Middleton. I mean, taking the hit and then kind of effortlessly knocking down the shot as well. On the wing, James. Vanderbilt gets a wide open look. And it's off from three point range. And so the first quarter is in the books. Lakers lead by six. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of this. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach Ooh. for the Lakers? So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage look looks. Look Lots graphics. of assists in this one. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. I need y'all dudes to make y'all threes, man. Watch free, man. Ante Dekumbo looking over the floor. <laughs> And block. the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. You know, Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. He can post up. He can do everything offensively. And defensively, he's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. In court for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Think that's still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league, along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. So he hits one of two from the strike. 
And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, foul, certainly foul, taking foul, the foul, next foul. step. What can be that leap? Kevin, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. Mm. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. He misses the free throw. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that Absolutely. Much. Pass to Antetokounmpo. What the fuck? Oh, Angel. my God. Yeah, that's oh another God. miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. A drive by Russell. Another shot. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. A three-pointer off the mark. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And at the line last year, he was good on about 77% of his attempts. Uh, given us points, we can't capitalize. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Oh, Kevin, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, Ooh. but the playoffs require adjustments. Mom, that mom, chess mom, match is mom. where they hope to improve. And Antetokounmpo showing his versatility yet again. His dribble moves are virtually unguardable. Russell with it. Picked up by Portis. Davis that's with the bucket. Right. Yeah, and there it is again. That's on a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Crowder goes in. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And that ah, one misses. Damn. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some oh. foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Usually, free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Kicks it out to Beasley. And Portis throws it down. Hard to exceed Portis's level of energy. I mean, he just doesn't seem to ever stop. Oh, yeah. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James last season passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to become the NBA's all-time leading scorer. LeBron says, that record was never in my head because I've always been a pass-first guy. So it was never a goal of mine. Kevin, there's perhaps no greater tribute to James's all-around game that he could set that mark without setting his mind to it. Back to you. Well said, D.A., thank you. Pass to Hachimura. Just five on the clock. It's rebounded by Portis. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to Giannis. be because he is so on, strong man. in the paint. Come on, Giannis. Come on, come on, come on. Here's Giannis. It's hold in by Los Angeles. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Nuggets at Ball Arena in Denver. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Here's Russell. Back in off the glass. Russell's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept oh, off that, balance that, because that. of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Bucks trail by six. And one thing you respect about Russell, his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts, he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. Middleton, a scorer by nature, that time showing you he get can find his teammates too. Come on, man, he holding the ball. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. One twenty-one left now here in the second. Lopez left side. Allen outside. 
over Vincent. Misses ah. off the left iron. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Right wing. And the wide open shot from Reddish. His three pointers off the mark. Allen in the post. Here's Lopez. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And amidst the tall timber, he's right at home. Extremely comfortable. Lopez getting it done. Here's Hachimura. The shot will not fall. Great D that time from Portis. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. The kick out to Holiday. For three, Middleton. Outside Portis. Pass to Middleton. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Boy, for me, it's really been fun watching the evolution of Chris Middleton. I mean, a rangy two-guard who can really stuff the stat sheet. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Just solid, really. Oh, one on, of the very around, best around, there around. is at the free throw line. Here's Reddish. Here's Russell. It could go. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And oh, some good action through the yeah. first two quarters as we reach halftime. Milwaukee on top. They're up by one. Yeah, the and join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Uh. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Craig, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Okay, I know coach. Allen surveying the D. Pass to once the Kumbo. Giannis dunks it down. Giannis is a monster around the rim. Too easy there. Here's James. Davis has the open look. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Six points for Anthony Davis. And I like the decision making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. You know, more and more big guys in the league have that mid range shot in their bag now, and they need it. Back to Holiday. And Lopez has it in the corner. Four on the clock. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. So 2022-23 was a tough year for Chris Middleton, dealing with a series of injuries. But you know, Kevin, I thought he quickly found his form again upon his return, and I think that speaks to his character and work ethic. Middleton hits them both. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. Lopez showing off the length there to get to that shot. Pass to Allen. Giannis, what are you doing? Why are you at the three-point line, dude? Giannis with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. The foul, the foul, the foul. And the call Damn. on the shot that sends him to the we line. Gotta shots. We gotta make That's just shots. a savvy move by Anthony Davis. I mean, caught the defense off balance and was able to draw the contact. And both free throws good for Davis. Looking at the Bucks, GA, they've made the playoffs every year since 2017. Oh, no, why and Kevin, as long as Giannis is at the helm, that streak should continue for a while. He's arguably the best player in the world. Guys want to play with this kid. And Davis sends it back. Got to be careful putting up a shot around Anthony Davis. I mean, he's one of the best shot blockers of all time. 
to the right side. Here's Reeves. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Reeves has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Timeout called. The Bucks. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Milwaukee. A two-point game. Lopez, he don't do shit. Pass to Lopez. Back to Holiday. He's looking for Lopez and finds him. Shot clock at five. And Holiday has it in the corner. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. <laughs> and it's Davis finishing it off. Oh, hey, just solid can't shoot with on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, Giannis he's ain't the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Here's Giannis. Don't Offensive pass. struggles he's continue missing again. Here's LeBron. James converts in right there. The assist yeah, totals, Kevin, just um, continue okay. to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. I guess even he has to miss one of Why those on the ground? once in a while. Here's Vincent. Oh, Offline with his three. Bucks trail oh. by six. And when you talk about Giannis's defense, he, he really has some unique attributes. Boy, does he ever, Greg. I mean, you think about his length, his athleticism, his agility. He's a guy who can defend the ball and the screener almost at the same time because of that great length. So offenses mm. sometimes go away from him in the pick and roll, which allows him to kind of play free safety on that back line as a rim protector. So the Lakers call timeout their first. One nineteen left in the third. Shot clock at six. Holiday with the block. Defense. That is his signature card. Drew Holiday, an elite stopper. On the uh... Benson with it. Still scoreless. On the wing, James. James down the lane, and the dunk by James. Add this game to LeBron's extensive career highlights. I mean, he's had plenty of big nights like this, but it never gets old. And again, the Bucks miss. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Inside by LeBron. And well, now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Crowder from outside. Oh, God, Offensive this. rebound. And Davis sends it back. Pass to LeBron. And the top by James. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having yeah, fun. Right man. Yeah, offensively, they okay, just been rolling. Impossible to stop. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And back don't back go up, away. Baby. We'll be right back.
And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Yeah, time is running out. To the left wing. Here's Vincent. And again, it's the Lakers. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Yeah, it's not a surprise do to see them out in front the way they've been efficient offensively in this half and actually throughout the entire game. Now here's James. And finished off by LeBron. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And it's Giannis missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And the three off target. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Here's LeBron. Gets number nine nice. to fall. He's only taken ten shots. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Timeout called the Bucks. On a team I can shoot right now. Look, I'm gonna try the Celtics. Try the Celtics. Come on, man. I'm not quitting, man. Come on. Come on. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Here's Yacht. <laughs> the rejection by James. It's a part of his game that LeBron takes a lot of pride in shot blocking and defending. He's no slouch oh, at that end of the floor. Over to the wing. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. James, 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 James. Five on the clock. In, and his hot hand continues. Ten of 11 from the floor and looking for more. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint. But the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggressiveness. Here's Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Wow. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And right. James right. throws right. it down. Right. Right. What a boy did shimmy on We've seen this from James now for, what, two decades? And now we've got the intentional foul. G.A., is it me, or does it feel like we've had more parity in the league the last few seasons? Well, Kevin, the playoffs have been pretty hard to predict lately. Yeah, I will give you that. There's been only one repeat champion in the past decade. It's a competitive league. Pass to LeBron. Oats it up for Davis. Nice, 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 nice. Dunks it down. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Giannis outside. Looking to end his cold spell. The kick out to Lopez. Shoots over Hachimura. Middleton outside. No good on the three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. 
Just look at the score differential in this one. I mean, a truly commanding oh, oh, and dominant oh, performance oh, here oh, 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 for Los oh, Angeles. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant ah. performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Oh, yeah, th there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. Yeah, I don't think it'll play out quite that simply, though. The team coming out on the losing end of game one is just that much more motivated yeah. to get even in game two and three. So I think the edge goes to the losing team. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for LeBron. Boy, the way he orchestrated the pace was impressive. I mean, moved the ball around, made good things happen with the pass. Well oh, done. Pass to Davis. And finished off by Davis. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and great, great run to finish it off. So uh, it's Los Angeles home, winning home. this one easily. They poured it on tonight. Dominant home. showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when, when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. I wish 2K would have left the damn shooting shit alone, man. They didn't fuck me all over my game, man. I can't even shoot. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Should I use these guys? Let's go with them. So he's late. Set point is normal fast. I think that's what I got it on set point. Uh, Cleveland. Hold on, what is that? Let's go with that. Alright, we're going up against Jada Go 17, man. Alright, I might have to do. Might have put it on release. I might put it on release. Let's try that. Set point is what I got it on. And that's pretty fast. Could try to jump. Oh, we're going in, man. We won one and lost two. Right now we're a punching bag, baby. And Right now we are punching back. Oh, it's our favorite day of the year at 2K Sports. At long oh. last, it's time to roll the ball out there and get the new season of NBA basketball guy. underway. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll be joined by Ali LaForce courtside. Now here's Garland. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. And granted, a deal that came down to the wire this summer. The Celtics got their man. Chris stopped Porzingis. Oh, that was oh, yes, they did, B.A. As tough as it was to give up Marcus Smart. Oh, we're going up against Jada Go 17, man. He's on PS5, man. Smart for Boston. A chance to balance their roster and acquire a two-way tower in his prime. Well, at least the D was going for it. But he got to the ball just a moment late. Outside Struess. Pass to Mobley. Some room here oh, for Struess. Good shot, good shot, good shot, good shot, good shot. The key shot. jumper is on the mark. Oh, Proving how coachable he is. Mobley, this man is building a pretty decent passing game. Tatum with it. 
Always a nice way to start. Makes wow. his first one. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's LeBert. Right side Jones. Out to Garland. Tries the spin move. No good off the spin. Just enough resistance to force the miss. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. Here's Tatum. And the official is go. Shit. What's wrong with this dude, man? He out here, man. No damn punching bag online, man. Ain't no punching bag, man. Whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. When you got a guy that's too big for a guard, he's too quick for a forward, what do you have there? You have Jason Tatum. He is an absolute matchup nightmare. And that one falls for Tatum. And even in a short time in the NBA, Tatum has become the model wing for the modern NBA, RJ. Yeah, he does everything so well. Shooting, defense, playmaking, you name it, this man has it. He gives you everything you want and need in that wing position. I really like that shot from Garland. Teams will give up the mid-range these days. So, look, why not shoot it and make it? Here's Tatum. The shot comes out. Ah. Ooh, Levert with some nice D. The crossover. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. Something I appreciate about Karis LeVert is his flexibility as a player, Richard. Yeah, B.A., he's got that kind of ready-for-anything mindset. Whenever he's needed, he is ready. And let me just say this. It's a little bit rarer than you think in this league. When talking about Karis LeVert, he's someone that does whatever is asked of him, Brad. You know what, B.A.? Ah, You're right. <laughs> Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. Ooh. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Outside Tatum. And finished by Tatum. Wow. One of the craziest dunks we've seen. Tatum with the bounce. The Cavs trailing. Here's Levert. Pass to Mobley. From behind the arc. They get the rebound. Now here's Garland. Spins. The floater. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Great play by Porzingis. Love seeing the zinger engaged on D. So it's the Cavaliers now. Five on the clock. Here's Struess. Driving inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Struess has got his second basket on the night. Outside Porzingis. Back to Brown. Four three. It's rebounded by Damn. Cleveland. You know, Richard, in 2023, the Cavs reached the playoffs without LeBron James for the first time since 98. B.A., that's the year I graduated high school, and that's just the beginning for this team. The Cavs have drafted well, they've made some big-time trades, and their core players are only getting better. And Grant, the news for the Celtics over the summer, moved on from Smart in order to acquire Porzingis. But, yeah, the team wanted to get bigger, and Porzingis gives them that. Hard to lose a player like Smart, but the Celtics feel their guards can fill that void. Mitchell misses. Look at out here. Gotta applaud Mom. the defensive effort. Mom. It's not Mom. easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. What the? Williams misses. And a talent with a ball for Cleveland. Ah. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Jerome. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. Come on. Now here's Struess. Six points for him. 
Now Williams. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Pritchard. There's the drive. The layup misses. Layup. Now here's Mitchell. And no good. Trying to get that. Let me let me see some y'all. Fuck. Uh. Hold on. Oh, so you can't even change your goddamn shot. Get this. Let me get that shot meter back. One to fall. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. Cavaliers ahead, leading by three. And we'll get the second quarter up. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And what stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. In rebounding numbers, sometimes we overlook them, but they can have a big effect on the outcome. Here's Tatum. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Well, there may be a lot of games ahead, but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Grant. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. Pass to Jerome. And the layup is nice, good. Nice, 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 Jerome's nice, nice. Got a second basket. Come on, of the come, on, game. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I like the yeah. intention, the focus, finding a way to make it work inside. And it's Brock Dude, missing. You, had a, um, oh. you gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Here's Allen. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Williams. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man, Jared Allen, at 6'9", with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and man, contest that. vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Ali, he keeps ah. getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Pass to Pritchard. Now Tatum, defended by Niang. Tries again. Oh, and a great bucket from Tatum. Taking the hit. Once Tatum's around the contact, it's over. A little room, just a little, is all that's needed for him to score. Here's Pritchard. Still no points. Tatum inside. It's Tatum working inside. Ooh, how about those nifty moves from Tatum? So crafty with the rock. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Allen. They double team Allen. Niang with it. Now guarded by Brogdon. Mitchell. What a shot. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Mitchell's got his first points of the night. Whether he's initiating the offense or playing off the ball, Mitchell is equally effective. And the Celtics call time here. Oh. I'm having a little success with the, with a different team. And, uh, I do see that I'm having a little success with a different team. With the Bucks, I can't shoot with nobody. I'm trying to think, should I put it on? Put it on release. Or push.
The Celtics with the lead. Everybody shoot threes. I just can't. What you love I about the Cavs threes. on most nights, they take really good shots, Graham. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. Down to five on the shot clock. Tatum can Ooh, hit. Go for the rebound. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. At the conclusion of this one, they're off to Brooklyn where they'll face the Nets. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Right there for the rebound. Oh, and it's the Celtics ball. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. Yeah, stay right Last there. Stay right year, there. This team got the better of them in the season series. So they're looking to correct ah. that. Tatum can't hit. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Pass to Levert. Tries to spin move. Outside Struess. Garland for three. Pure from three-point range. Garland's got five now. For a guard like Garland, hitting threes unlocks the rest of the floor. Tatum to the rack. Offensive board. The Cavaliers leading. Levert outside. Pass to Struess. That one doesn't drop. Brown with some nice D. And so it's Boston with it. Now Horford. Tatum inside. He's got 14. Kick out to Brown. White for three. Oh, my God. Levert with a rebound. And here comes the break. Here's Struess. Pass to Levert. Down low. Jones. And it's good for two. And now a three-point Cavalier lead. Oh, nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. White with it. He's picked up by Garland. But that won't go either for Tatum. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Right, and the right, lead right, increases right. on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Shot and game clock separated by five. Outside White to halt the run. Man, can't get it to fall. 0 for 2 now. To the inside. Right. And right. Mobley throws it down. Fucking bitch. It must be nice to have a seven-footer like Mobley that you can just throw pretty much anything out there and he'll go get it. Tatum from long range. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. It's going to be Evan Mobley. And he's good on the first of three. What strikes me about Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw at him. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Cavaliers on top, up five. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Trying to see why the hell I can't, um, how much time I got? Okay. Where's the fucking, um, options? Jump shot meter. Input site. So you can't, once you're in the game, you can't change your fucking, um, the shit where you're shooting the ball at. God damn it. Can't change it. Not change that shit. We got the team Austin that can come Jaylen. back. Pass to Porzingis. Cavaliers uh. with a rebound. 
And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time. But I know what Celtics fans want. They want a ring. But they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. And the he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And you know, Richie, for his age, Evan Mobley's defensive instincts are off the charts. He plays the passing lanes well. He's always in the right position. And with that uh -huh. length and athleticism, he has a chance to be an all-time great defender. Pass to Porzingis. Oh, look out! Porzingis! Fight back, man. Fight back, man. Now, we Fight know back. he can hit threes, but Chris Stapp's showing he can slam it, too. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Cavaliers have that banner from 2016. Donovan Mitchell said, quote, we want to bring another championship for this city. None of us are LeBron James, but we can do it as a group. Our goal is to win the Let's title. In. The Let's city has seen it once, and they'll yeah. hopefully see it again. Brian? Well, they are a team to be reckoned with for sure. Thanks, Allie. And Boston calls time here. I got the chance they're going to do it, man. I just can't shoot with you guys. I got I to put it out. Anybody that's throwing that with 2K look right Cleveland. now. Let me know what, what um. A little shooting. over a minute gone here in the second half. The shooting thing, you know, Outside, um, Brown. Back to White. Pass to Tatum. Good D by Niang. And so it's Cleveland with it. Leading by five. Back to Levert. Beyond the arc. It's another three for Cleveland. Mm. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. That's and right. that could That's be right. the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Here's Brown. Into the lane. And Brown with the stuff. Sam with the chest, young fella. Jalen Brown with the strong finish. Up, he up, buries up. it from three. Well, well Grant, you were in the playoffs several times during your career. The postseason's just different from the regular season. It's 100% another level. I'll never forget my first series, 1996, against the great Shaquille O'Neal and Penny Hardaway of the Orlando ah. Magic. Of course, yeah, my Pistons got swept. That was quite an introduction to the playoffs. A legit seven-footer with that kind of athleticism? I guess Porzingis really is a unicorn. Right, damn, who's even the man over three? And the Cavaliers, another three. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Pass to Horford. Tatum inside. The kick out to White. Back to Tatum. No good from outside. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Whoa! Nice, wow. nice, 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 nice. That's what they came for. Wow. Adding some extra style to the slam. Okay, what a move by Allen. And George Niang gets the whistle Dodge, that time. Dodge. That's his first foul of the game. Well, wow, Sam. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Oh, yeah, just go all, He's all, off on all that way. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. You know, the Cavs have done a nice job rebuilding since the end of the second LeBron era, Richard. Now, it took a few years, B.A., but yes, the front office has found some quality talent in the draft. Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, and they've made aggressive moves getting Donovan Mitchell that helped them get back into the postseason. He can explode to the hoop. Brogdon, he can change speeds in a hurry. Here's Okoro. Lays it up and banks it in. Okoro's got five points in the quarter. 
Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. Sinks the tray. They've come into the second half with renewed focus at the offensive end, putting in a big effort. Pass to Okoro. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first foul. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Let's it fly. Here's Jerome. And that one's long. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. The drive by Brogdon. It's good. And now just a five-point Cleveland lead. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, and no reason to go away from what's God working. Damn. Love her. That's good. Yeah, that's inexcusable. I mean, the defense must push Levert farther away from the basket than that. And here's Brown for three. And the Celtics another three. Here in the second half, you see they've gone to the long ball to try to keep up. Niang outside. Pass to Jerome. Back to Niang. Here's Jerome. Got it off in time. And so it's the nice. Cleveland Cavaliers closing out this nice. quarter with a seven-point lead. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. We'll be right back. I love this game. I just got to figure it out, man. Got to figure out the shooting. I don't know why 2 can just leave this shit like it was back in the day, man. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. All right. What we got out here? Who we got? The Cavaliers leading. And the Cavaliers call time here. Adjustments are a part of every game, in every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey team, I was able to catch the message that J.B. Bickerstaff was giving to his team. And despite the lead, they are still coaching this team hard. In the huddle, they told their guys to stay alert. Do not give them anything easy. They want to protect this late lead, B.A. Okay, thank you, Allie. Pass to Brogdon. Oh, Brogdon gets a step. And he banks in the layup. And Brogdon is used to having to overcome tough defense. That is just quality composure there by him. Mobley outside. Jones with the ball. Garland looking around. Spins. Six to shoot. Puts up a deep three. Hauser grabs the board. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Tatum. Oh, Tatum taking flight. <laughs> Just a merciless, I don't even know what that word means, dunk by Tatum. Reminding the defense, like, yo, you cannot stop on, him. Fight, 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 fight. Throughout the second half, they've achieved excellent efficiency on the offensive end. Pritchard, no good. That? And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They've led by as much as 10. Garland for three. Drills it from deep. Damn. They had a close and down, easy layup. Point Cleveland man. lead. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence is impressive to see. And Boston I calls time here. I got to find the right. I don't know why they're on this Nicky Universe. Man. All y'all had to do is change the goddamn dribble moves and shit, man. Y'all had to fuck with the shooting. Man. I got to figure it out. The damn practice mode don't do shit, man. Every shot go in in practice mode, but when you get in line, it's something totally different. No excuses. We just got to tighten up. We got to figure it out. Oh, 
I got a team that can come back. We just got to make our shots. Look at the graphics. Look at the graphics. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Right side, Porzingis. Outside, Tatum. The kick out to White. Got the paint. Just five on the clock. And here's Brown for three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mitchell on the drive. Oh, misses the dunk. Why? Just why? Come on, man. Save that one for practice. Boston again missing. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Pass to Jones. Back to Mitchell. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Mitchell is so efficient and crafty inside that paint. Sometimes you forget he's only 6'2". Back to Tatum. They need this. Driving in. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. Even though his team is lagging behind, he's playing like a winner. Too bad his attitude isn't spreading to the other guys. Outside, Struess. Back to Jones. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. And when defenders are lurking, that bounce pass can be the only way to get it through. Here's Horford. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The veteran savvy of Horford. I mean, he does an outstanding job going at the defense and drawing the whistle. So it comes up empty at the line. So it's the Cavaliers now. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Mitchell with room to shoot. Another shot. Here he goes. Out to Mobley. For three. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Left side white. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Bullseye! Jalen Brown! Gotta love the confidence. Brown wasting no time firing away. Pass to Mobley. Out to Garland. Banked it in off the glass. Garland's got five points now in the quarter. The defense kind of opened up for him, and he took full advantage. And Boston calls time here. They're down by nine. 105 left in the game. We're going to figure it out, though. We're going to figure it out. I gotta go to bed for real this time. I gotta get up to be ready to shoot this down. So, whoo! If I get my shooting now, man, I'll be all right. I think this is the team I'm gonna use too, man. Playing, I'm gonna use Boston, man. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. And deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most active defensively. Out to Horford. There's Tatum with the three. Austin, no good that time either. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Garland up top. Mobley outside. Tries to spin move. Horford pulls it in. And so it's Porzingis with it. He brings it up for Boston. Here's White. Oh. Nice D from Garland. Well, Grant, this game looks just about yeah, over. Man, this VA, this all they game. really need to do is just work that clock, don't turn it over, and this game is a wrap. I hate to say it but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. What? Yeah, oh. they fought as hard as they could. Just right. wasn't in the cards tonight. Here's Mitchell. He can't get it to go. 
And so it's again, Cleveland man. winning this one. A clean win, now, and one where they yeah. clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show now, here at home, I I and I really think well, they had well. that extra swagger and confidence, too. That concludes the, the first team game team of the three. NBA season. Yep, good game to him, man. Good game to all them dudes, man. One and three, baby. Shit. All right, we got six chances to win five games, man. We're going to figure it out. At least I did fight that guy back. We're going to figure it out, baby. All right, let me go to bed so I can get up in time to get to that place at 10 o'clock, man. Y'all be easy. Hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay. Shit didn't go my way, but y'all did see the other t other players out there showcasing their skills, man. Yeah, once I figure out what setting to put my shooting on, I should be all right. See, set point is, let me see, what is, I got it written down. Set point is fast. Jump is as soon as the... You lift, lift, lift the feet off the ground, you're supposed to release for jump. Release is late. Supposed to hit as soon as the ball leaves their hand. I might try. Let me see. As long as the ball pushes up. I'm going to figure it out, man. So I'm got to give is my, my key to success is in this right here. My key to success is one of these right here, man. That's my key to success. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Hold on. I should have do re yeah, a real player. Cause that, that shit right there is messing me up. Everything is a damn layup. Yeah, but my key to success is going to be in, in, in this in this section right here. I got to figure which one out is, is best for me. Because in practice mode, everything go in. Every shot go in, but then you get in a real battle. You get, you see what happens. I got the defense. It just, I think that team is the team. And then when we go to the second division, you got to use the Wolves for one game. And then the last one, I'm going to use the Hornets, the Mellow. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Even though I lost, I hope y'all enjoyed me losing, man. I saw some good skills out there. We saw LeBron James twice and Anthony Davis. We just saw the team to kick my ass Cleveland. So just stay tuned for more exciting gameplay, man. We're going to figure it out, baby. We're going to figure it out. Yes, we are. Let me see something. I could have sworn I got... I must got to get my, my player going on before I can get that anchor indicator. That's what I want. And then that bucket re perfect release animation. That'd be fucking dope. You got an anim indicator? That look dope. That light up electric skateboard. Civil civil floor setter. Uh, the rat. Oh. The mascot said level what that was that thirty? Yeah. I'm with my LeBron James banner. Got the Magic Johnson. Some overalls. Glow in the dot pogo stick. And gold floor setter. And Kyrie Irving. Yeah, we're gonna get it together, man. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I might have to play one of my friends in a player match. I'm gonna have to see what the settings is for online. And then I'm going to go in a play a match with my friends. Just play them over and over till I get comfortable with, with the team shot. I like to use Giannis, but that team, 
their releases is kind of difficult, you know. But I like how I like how Boston felt. I like how the, the controls felt with Boston. I just got to get my, I just got to figure it out, and that'll be something to deal with online, man. But y'all be easy, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Number one gaming channel on YouTube and Twitch, man. Your baby mama hero, aka Vernon Russell, man. Be easy, man. I gotta get my ass up so I can shoot this damn movie for this dude, man. Hope I don't oversleep. Alright, we out. <laughs>